Hey everybody, Derek here, here to bring you another video for The Walking Dead. Uh, I guess this is the uh, countdown to Season 6, um, because we're over with Season 5. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to come up with a new uh, way of saying the introduction. But, um, you know, we just finished Season 5 last night, and, uh, you know, I said that I would be making videos in between, so that way we don't have to go forever uh, without videos, as well as... With the companion series coming in the summer, it won't be as long of a wait in general. I mean, of course, we want to see our favorite characters, but, you know, it'll give us less time to, you know, wait for all of that and give us something in the meantime. But what I'm going to do tonight is uh, do my official ranking of the season five episodes from one to 16, with one being my personal favorite and 16 being my least personal favorite. This is just opinion. Um, you're welcome to uh, agree or disagree with my list in the comments. Tell me what you think of my uh, analysis. I'd be more than happy to discuss it. Um, uh, just in case you're not finished with Season 5, there will be spoilers in the video because uh, I will be bringing up plot points. So if you're not finished with Season 5, this video will contain spoilers. Okay. So for me personally, number 16 is Season 5, Episode 10, which is Them. I just was not impressed with it overall, which, again, is part of the reason why I didn't do a uh, video on it. Um, you know, it, it was a good episode in general, but it was one that you you see it as a good episode when you flow along with, you know, Season 9, I mean, uh, Episode 9 and Episode 10. It was just missing a lot of great elements. You know, there wasn't really anything surprising about it. There wasn't really a lot of character interaction. I mean, obviously, they're upset about Beth's death and Tyrese's death, and they're, you know, they're expressing that, and I can understand that, but there just wasn't enough going on. I mean, it really just felt like you were seeing a shadow of The Walking Dead itself, that it wasn't living up to its full potential. And really, the only amazing thing it was at the end of the episode when... Aaron popped up, um, but I just was not impressed with it. You know, there really was not a lot um, to really uh, like about it, in my opinion. So that's why I put it at number 16. Number 15 is going to be Season 5, Episode 4, which is Slab Town. Um, you know, again, this is one of those episodes where, it, you know, I liked how they were introducing, you know, Grady Memorial and getting Beth back into the story. But I felt like they really didn't do enough to keep us interested or to really fully explain what was going on at the hospital. Um, I just think it lacked in a lot of different ways, you know, not being able to really understand what was going on. And just so many things were being thrown into the mix all at once that, you know, it felt rushed. I, I think it would have been a lot smarter for them to divide some of the other episodes and showed a little bit more of Grady Memorial later, but I just felt like there was too much going on here that was fit into an hour, and it really was not necessarily the most entertaining thing in general. So that's why I have it as 15. Number 14 is going to be Season 5, Episode 7, which is Crossed. Um, again, it was one of those episodes that was more of a bridge between you know it and the mid-season finale. There really wasn't a lot uh, going on that kept you excited, especially, uh, I have to give it some low points for, uh, the scenes with Abraham, Ma Maggie, Glenn, and that group. I just wasn't impressed with what they were doing there. I thought that the scenes with, you know, the group trying to, uh, capture those police officers, I thought that was a little entertaining, and I thought they really did a good job there, but they kind of failed <clears throat> on the scenes with Gabriel at the church and, and uh, Carl and with, again, everything that was going on at the at the fire truck. Uh, I just was not impressed with it overall. I mean, again, it wasn't terrible, but it didn't have the same ring as some of these other episodes did. So that's why I ranked it at 14. Uh, number 13 is the one right after it, the mid-season finale, season 5, episode 8, which is Coda. Um, a lot of you may be surprised by this, and I, I will, you know, I am prepared to take criticism of this either way. Um, but I read interviews and reviews about uh, this episode, and after I thought about it and watched it as well, I really felt like 
it was an episode where the beginning was great and the end was great, but the stuff in the middle just didn't add up as much. And I, I feel that way. Um, you know, I really thought that the story with the with the other officer that was trying to take over with Dawn, I thought was a little unnecessary and also just not – they didn't really give a lot of, you know, build up to that story. And that's why I criticize a lot of the Grady Memorial stories in general with a lot of these earlier episodes, why I rank them as low. Because li literally the Grady Memorial storyline was probably the worst storyline of the season in my opinion. And I just feel like there wasn't a lot going on there. And it really felt uh, – how do I want to put this? Uh, just jumbled, not not put together. You know, you're you're watching it and you're thinking, oh, this officer just pops out of the middle of nowhere, and it just it just didn't make sense. Um, and I wasn't really impressed with it. Uh, but I thought again, you know, Beth's death was definitely very shocking, as well as the beginning whenever Rick uh, was chasing after Bob Lampson. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but just everything in between really was not as exciting as it could have been. And I recognize that, um, and that's why I ranked it there. Number 12 is going to be uh, Season 5, Episode 13, which was Forget. Um, you know, again, this is one of those episodes where, you know, the house party was pretty interesting. And I think that they really did, you know, a good job of putting some elements into the episode. I feel like this is where my list starts to say, well, these episodes were all good in their own right. But it's about which ones were more entertaining in regards to plot, surprises, character development, and even Walker action if you need to break the, you know, the tie a little bit. That can make a difference. And I just feel like forget, you know, the scenes with Daryl and Aaron chasing after the horse, you know, were good, but just not as exciting as other things that were going on in later episodes. The house party was interesting, and it was also nice to get a little insight into what Sasha was going through. So again, not an absolute terrible episode, but not necessarily up to par with some of the ones uh, that are coming up on the list. Number 11 is going to be Season 5, Episode 2, which is Strangers. Uh, I really liked this episode. You know, I really liked the introduction to Father Gabriel, whether we like the character now or not. You know, I thought it was a very good introduction. I thought that they really did some uh, good details with uh, getting him in with the group. Uh, Bob, his presence in the episode I thought was really good. I still love his nightmares uh, speech that he gives to Rick. I think that definitely carries over um, the whole thing at the end of the episode when the uh, the hunters are eating his leg. I mean, it was just a lot of good things going on. But again, overall, when I think about which ones I prefer, um, it does rank a little bit less because it doesn't necessarily have uh, overarching things that make it more shocking. It was more of just the end of the episode that was more shocking, in my opinion. Uh, season 5, episode 15, Try, is number 10 for me. Uh, again, I think that Try was a good episode in its own right. I really did enjoy the scenes that, you know, they showed Sasha trying to recover from what was going on with her, everything with Rick and Carol going on there, and just the end of the episode with Pete uh, and Rick fighting, just absolutely incredible. I love this episode. It definitely was amazing. Uh, again, it it was one of those ones where some of the elements were meant to, you know, make things more dramatic later on, and you know, with the with the season finale. So that's why I kind of rank it a little lower because again, when you're watching it in the moment, I think that there are just there are some scenes that are surprising, but not as many. So that's why I have to rank it a little bit lower. Uh, the next one, number nine, is going to be season five, episode 11, which was The Distance. Uh, this was the introduction of Aaron into the group and, you know, getting them to the Alexandria safe zone. I think this episode is amazing. Definitely something great after the flop them. Uh, but I think that it was constantly an episode where you were on the edge of your seat wondering exactly who is Aaron, what is going on, Glenn running over all those walkers with the car, and I mean, everybody's on the edge of their seat, like, going, what's going on, what's going on, what's going to happen? I loved that. I thought it was really great, and I love just the 
the tense feelings that you get from the characters. This episode, I feel, has very good acting on the part of all of the cast members. Uh, just trying to fit into this, you know, we don't trust anybody role. And, uh, you know, really making you realize just how hardened this group had become. And I think they really hit it right on the, the head of the nail on this one. Really enjoyed it. Uh, but again, there's just some other things that, you know, personally, I think other episodes had more scenes along the way that were equally exciting, you know, that there's more going on in my uh, upper eight episodes. Uh, so season uh, five, episode five, self-help is my number eight. I like self-help. Um, I think that they did a very good job of keeping it interesting. Uh, Abraham's story, you know, was definitely nice to get some insight into who his character was before he met everybody else, before he got to Rosita and Eugene and Rick's group. Uh, I think they did a very good job of keeping it, you know, interesting because you're trying to figure out what Eugene's doing. I mean, there are lots of things going on in the episode throughout that keep you interested, keep you wondering what exactly was going on. And then you get right to the end and, you know, the reveal that Eugene really isn't a scientist. He's just a liar. Absolutely blows you away. I think the end of the episode, again, is very good. But the rest of the episode as well, uh, it wasn't just that one scene. It was everything leading up to it was a very good, cohesive story that I personally enjoyed. Number seven is going to be season five, episode six, which was consumed. This episode, again, is also very amazing. I mean, when you take into consideration Daryl and Carol together for the first time in a long, long time, they really did a great job with it. I love the scenes that they shared, and each one of them was just very revealing and really, you know, showing these two characters and how much they've changed along the way and the relationship that they still have with each other. You know, I thought they did great with it. You can't deny that. And, you know, all the scenes with Noah, you know, it was, it was fast paced. It was action. -y. It was like, you know, wondering where are they going to go next? What are they going to do? What's the next big thing that's going to happen? Definitely kept it interesting throughout the whole entire thing. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, number six for me is going to be season five, episode 12, which is Remember. Uh, this is the one where they get right to the Alexandria safe zone. Why do I like it a lot? Well, I think they did a very good job of, you know, showing how Rick's group and Alexandria are different and seeing these differences and wondering what exactly is going to happen with them. How are they going to fit in? Are they going to fit in? And I think that it was very interesting watching it. And you saw just how each character was adjusting in their own particular way and seeing new characters. I think they just did a very good job of expressing those different feelings of everybody, especially Rick, you know, seeing the way, you know, him shading his beard, meeting Jesse. The things that were going on here were absolutely amazing and definitely left you with a lot of interesting uh, stories for later, but in its own right, I think they really did a good job of introducing Alexandria, and I gotta give it props. I really did enjoy it. My number five is gonna be season five, episode 14, which was Spend. Uh, and of course, this is the episode where Noah and Aiden die. Um, it, not just that is why I have it up there, it's not only that, but a lot of things going on, just the, the buildup of Pete you know, becoming the revealed as the abuser. I think the scenes with him and Rick were amazing. The scenes with him and Carol were amazing. Uh, and not only that, just, you know, a great story that, again, kept you on the edge of your seat. It's more of what I kind of personally like in Walking Dead, but I think for other people, they really enjoyed it as well. And I think it was, you know, great to see the different groups uh, you know, how they worked together or how they didn't work together. You know, especially seeing how Nicholas and uh, Aiden were different from Glenn and the rest. And I think they really did a great job of keeping it an edge-of-your-seat kind of episode. Excellent job. My number four is going to be Season 5, Episode 3, which is Four Walls and a Roof. I enjoy this one. You know, from the beginning when, you know, Bob reveals that he's tainted meat, you just – 
you know this is going to be a great episode. And it definitely was surprising and shocking throughout the whole way. Seeing the group, you know, fall apart a little bit, trying to figure out what to do, who to trust, what is going on here, fighting against these cannibals, and just the end scene, the brutality that came along with ending the Hunters just as a memorable moment in the show, and everything leading up to it was very shocking as well. Uh, you, you kept wondering what was going to happen. And part of me kind of felt that they were going to go along with the comics and kill them off early, and at other times I thought maybe they wouldn't. You know, that maybe this would be an eight-episode arc just like other stories, but they didn't. And I think, again, that was another thing that was just very surprising about it that I really enjoyed. So I have to put it up there in my top four. It's an amazing episode. Um, my number three is going to be season five, episode nine, which was uh, what happened and what's going on. Um, this episode being Tyrese's death, but not only that, because of it being such a different kind of episode, one that you're not really used to, it made it very interesting. I loved the, you know, you didn't really know what was going on throughout the whole entire episode. Like you saw these different images of like the Noah's little brothers, Tyrese in certain situations, the governor, a walker here, railroad tracks there, Lizzie and Mika, etc. You know, you see all these things. You wonder what the heck's going on here. But, you know, when you watch it again and see how everything fits together, they really did a good job of, you know, making it interesting along the way. So I really thought that it was probably one of the more shocking episodes of the season. And just unexpected, you know, the way that they killed Tyrese off. You can't deny that. And just the, the fact that they made us think that the beginning was Beth's funeral when it was actually Tyrese's, uh, that was probably the biggest surprise of all. Um, I think that this episode went above and beyond what many others did. And I think it's in contention for top ten of the entire series. I'm going to do an update of one of that later on, but uh, I think it was excellent. Absolutely excellent. Uh, my number two is going to be the season finale, which was Conquer. Uh, again, I loved the episode. I think that many of us did too. And it was really tough deciding between this one and the number one, which should, which should be number one. Uh, but I think that one of the things you saw here was there was no moment that was wasted in this episode. And I think that is what is a big factor for me, is you really felt like each scene in itself together was important. You take one scene out and it <clears throat> makes the episode just confusing or not as good. I love the reintroduction of Morgan, the the establishment of the wolves, you know, who they are a little bit and more looking forward to what they were going to be. The ending with Pete and Reg dying, uh, Carol and her story, you know, the way that she was acting with Pete, the whole Nicholas and Glenn situation, Gabriel wanting to die, Sasha, you know, still lost. I mean, every moment you're just like, wow, this is all leading up to something great. And even though none of our main characters died, doesn't mean it's not a bad, it's not, excuse me, it doesn't mean it's not a good episode. I'm glad nobody, you know, from our main group died. But the fact is, is that because they put you on such an edge of your seat moment, I mean, who didn't think that Daryl was going to die there for a second? I mean, come on, we all we were all thinking it. And when Walking Dead can do things like that, you know that they're doing something right here. And just the end again also blew me away. You know, seeing Morgan and Rick reunited and wondering what is going to happen with these two later on. So, excellent job on this episode. So that leaves number one, which is the season premiere, No Sanctuary. For me, ultimately, the things that it comes down to is it has the good um, establishment of Terminus, what they are, and I really love all the scenes with Gareth being there. The, the absolute just violent content and the action just really comes together and makes you feel that this is the Walking Dead world, that this is what you think of when you see the Walking Dead itself. The brutality of what went on in that episode is just absolutely extraordinary. Walking Dead has never, in my opinion, gotten as brutal as what you saw in No Sanctuary, and that's why I had to put it at number one. Just Carol's actions of saving everybody was just amazing. Seeing Tyrese step up a little bit against Martin was amazing. Every scene, everything leading up right to the end, just action-packed and great, and really left you 
you know, feeling satisfied. Like, yes, that's what a season premiere is, is. Compared to, you know, maybe 30 days without an accident, not as good. That's what a season premiere should be. So I had to rank it above uh, the season finale. But I can also understand why some of you might want to switch that. Um, but that is my uh, countdown. I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, please stay tuned. I will be doing more videos. Uh, feel free to subscribe. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions that you want to see, do not be afraid. Uh, I want to know more suggestions. I want to know what you guys want to see. This is your channel just as much as it's mine. And I want to know what you guys want to see while we wait for Walking Dead to come back patiently. <laughs> I'm not going to be very patient. But, you know, making these videos is definitely going to help pass the time. So I really hope that you all have a wonderful evening. And thank you very much for watching.